I bet you guys didn't know that there was another crested gecko species different to the one that we all know and love. So this guy here is a crested gecko or a Coralephus ciliatus. This is what everybody knows, what's very popular in the pet trade. Now this guy in particular is a little different because he is an F2 crested gecko. What that means is his parents are directly offsprings from wild caught animals. This is a very, very different bloodline to anything we see in the United States. And that's why he's very special. But the reason I have him out here is because he kind of looks like the crested gecko I am going to talk about in this video, which is Coralophus balapensis. So crested gecko balapensis, they do have like smaller and more packed together crest on the side of their heads, but they're not as big from what I have seen. This species is not very well known. It is actually only found in one part of New Caledonia, and that is the Isle of Art. And that island is about 24 miles north of the main island of New Caledonia. That is the only place that they have ever found Coralophus balapensis. Now, Coralophus balapensis can be identified by a series of larger scales that they have in between their hind legs or their tail base. Now, this guy's mean but this, these guys will actually also have very small crests and they will have a hint of orange or red. Now, one cool thing about Coralophus balapensis is that they actually live alongside of the Eurodactyloides agricolae, which everybody loves, those tiny little geckos, and the Minera gecko jalu. Now, if you weren't aware, Minera gecko jalu is actually a different species of mossy prehensile-tailed gecko. Now, we all know the Minera gecko chihua, which they come in Pine Island and Mainland, but the jalu is a complete different species, kind of like the Bellapensis, and they are almost identical to the Mainland chihua. Now, because these geckos are only found in the Isle of Art in New Caledonia, that makes them extremely vulnerable and critically endangered. Now these guys, obviously, we don't know if there are any of these guys in captivity, but if they are, they are probably mixed in with our Coralophus ciliatus. Now, a lot of people think that Coralophus bellapensis actually did get mixed in with the ciliatus because we have a lot of animals that look like they don't have much scales, crest. I've even seen crested geckos that have a ridge, they call them ridgeback, and they would have scales down the back in the middle towards the back legs. So I personally believe that somewhere along the line, they did get mixed in with our crested geckos. What do you guys think? Do you think that the crested gecko balapensis got mixed in with our crested gecko ciliatus? Because I definitely remember seeing crested geckos that have a shorter snout, no crest, and they have those scales in the back right here. So who knows, maybe they are some in captivity, but I would be very, very surprised if there are any pure ones left. Now the crested gecko bellapensis do not regrow their tails just like the ciliatus, which is, you know, not surprising since they're so similar. And honestly, if I saw them in the wild, it would probably look like this. They're not that different and they're hard to tell apart if you don't know what you're looking at. But that's why we included these photos so you could see what we were talking about. And what blows my mind is it took me so many years before I even knew these things existed. I didn't know up until a couple months ago that this was even a real thing and I could not believe it when I found out. So if you already knew that Crested Gecko Bellapensis was a real thing, make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you didn't know, please let me know also because I was mind blown when I found out there was two different species of Crested Geckos. So I'm sure that a lot of you are gonna be mind blown as well. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.